Hi, I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols with this week's edition of Josh's Weather Academy, a segment where I take some of your weather questions and take a deeper dive into all the weather wise. It's that time of year again, time to change the time. The clocks go back an hour at 2 a.m. on Sunday as daylight saving time ends. But the question is, why do we perform this ritual every year? And what would happen if we didn't? That's the subject of this week's edition of Josh's Weather Academy. The idea of daylight saving time was first conceived by Benjamin Franklin during his time as an American delegate in Paris in 1784 in an essay. Standard time, which is what we go back to on Sunday, was instituted in the United States and Canada by the railroad system in 1883. It wasn't until the Standard Time Act of 1918 that changing the clocks twice a year became the law of the land. The Uniform Time Act of 1966 provided standardization in the dates of the beginning and end of daylight saving time in the United States, allowed for local exemptions, and has remained, with some alterations, the reason for the clock changes twice a year. Recently, the Sunshine Protection Act of 2021 would have made daylight saving time the new permanent standard time, but it never made it through Congress. Had it been passed and made law, it would have had a major impact on much of the United States in terms of when our latest sunrise time would occur in winter. This map breaks down some of those latest sunrise times. Note that Buffalo's latest winter sunrise would occur well after most students are already in school and well after the morning drive. By setting the clocks back an hour in the fall, we gain an hour of daylight in the morning, which can help us make better use of available daylight during normal wakeful hours. So the next time you loathe the shortening days that take place this time of year, remember it could still be dark at 9 a.m. at sunrise in Buffalo if we didn't turn the clocks back. Got a weather question that you'd like answered? Email me at weather at wkbw.com and your weather question could be the subject of the next Josh's Weather Academy. I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols. Stay weather wise.